Brown University's Percent for Art program commissions site-specific works related to new buildings and major renovations. Diane Samuels' Glass Bridge, entitled Lines of Sight, was commissioned for the Sidney E. Frank Hall for Life Sciences and is the university's first Percent for Art purchase. The location of the work, on a bridge linking two sections of the building, inspired the artist to craft an artwork that serves as a metaphorical bridge joining science to the arts. Science and technology and the various forms of art all unite humanity in a single and interconnected system. Zoras Alexandrovich Medvedev. When I first heard about this project, I was trying to figure out where I fit with what I did in life science. And I visited two life science labs in Pittsburgh where I live. And I said, just tell me about your work. And I realized that he was talking with incredible passion about observing the world, looking closely, and paying attention. And he told me that when he's looking through the microscope and he's looking at a tiny molecule that's hooked onto an amino acid, at the smallest possible element, he has to keep in mind that that's hooked onto a giant organism. And I just love that idea of the micro and macro, to look at something so closely and then realize that there's a giant thing behind it. And as he was talking, I realized that the words that he was using to describe what he did and what he saw, they were very similar words to the words artists use, about paying attention, um, discovering things, and finding little paths that you never expected to find, that you follow, you're a little bit of an explorer that you follow, and sometimes they're dead ends, and sometimes they lead you in a really wonderful direction. In the late 1500s, when William Harvey discovered how blood flows through the body, John Donne wrote a poem about blood and ventricles, and just in response to the scientific discovery. Knowest thou how blood, which to the heart doth flow, doth from one ventricle to the other go? John Donne. And then I realized that there were a lot of poets who wrote about science, and of course wrote about observing the world, paying attention, and looking closely. So that was the kind of core start for the idea of the piece. And these I command you to really see, really take a look at, give the once over, get a load of, ogle and glare and gape and gawk, wink, blink, contemplate and view. Heather Ross Miller. The intricacy of Diane Samuel's works, the sheer scale of her undertakings, and her labor-intensive and exacting processes are astonishing. Lines of Sight consists of 140 structural thermopane windows. Sandwiched between the two layers of glass are more than 650,000 individual glass elements. They are circles of clear or slightly green glass circular mirrors, prisms, and magnifiers, as well as small rectangular pieces of glass resembling microscope slides that have been hand engraved by Samuels with poems and prose. I asked the Brown community to contribute um, poetry and prose that would be about observing the world, paying attention, and looking closely, those initial themes that Alan Wells uh, talked to me about in the science lab. I got an enormous number of contributions from Brown student, faculty, um, staff, alum, friends of people. It is the function of art to renew our perception. What we are familiar with, we cease to see. The writer shakes up the familiar scene and, as if by magic, we see a new meaning in it. Anais Nin. Now look objectively. You have to admit the cancer cell is beautiful. If it were a flower, you'd say, how pretty, with its mauve center and pink petals. Margaret Atwood. The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. Albert Einstein.
On the outside layer of glass on the two sides of the bridge, there's a very faint, on both sides, a uh, sandblasted hand. I, I thought about what's a constant in, in a university, and it's, it's people. And no matter how mechanized things become, the, the driving force, the heart of the university is the people who learn there, teach there, work there. So the hand was the symbol of the people. So. And I scanned, I'm trying to remember, um, I think over a hundred people. And I chose two hands just based on how they looked on the windows. It took two years to complete the windows. Crews at three factories tested the windows for heat and wind resistance, cut and polished the hundreds of thousands of glass discs, and etched and assembled the thermal panes. Samuels engraved the poetry in her studio in Pittsburgh and traveled to Solar Seal outside of Boston to assemble the windows. So I used the lines, the sandblasted lines in each unit as sort of lines to um, lay the poetry into. I pick out a piece of poetry or prose and that would be my core one and then I'd start pulling other things in that I felt would work with that. The window catches light from another world altogether, one behind us, one we cannot see, the world from which we have come clomping across the desert from a road which is a dashed trace on the map, Forest Gander. But I was hoping that the um, glimmers that you get from all these hundreds of thousands of pieces will be animated not only by the light, but by the people passing through the bridge. So that when you're outside a distance away and looking and people walk through with colorful clothing or non-colorful clothing and move at different speeds, it'll almost be like a, a film uh, that's that's where you see some kind of animation that's broken up a little bit by the, uh, the glass itself. So I was hoping that there'd be an, an exterior view that's very different from the interior view, and that, uh, again, it's the, the very close view and then the, the far away, you know, the, the organism hooked onto the little, um, the little molecule. So both of those views are important. What is the Earth most like? It is most like a single cell. Lewis Thomas. Lines of sight epitomizes the best in public art. It is thoughtfully conceived and relates to the work being done within the building, and it is finely crafted and aesthetically handsome. The formal beauty of the work and the discovery of the written text combined to create an experience that will delight and enlighten viewers long into the future.